UK Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this year's Q School Final. We're just about to begin our coverage of this exciting event. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this player has been performing well in this Q School Final. Seems like we'll be seeing them next year on the Corn Ferry Tour. Look, they've been under pressure the entire time. Right now, they are solid but they're not a given. They really have to bear down and play a solid round of golf to get their Corn Ferry Tour card. Either way, I'm looking forward to seeing what this player does today. <laughs> Gotta say, just some of the best rhythm in the game. Time for the second shot into the first. Going with the pitching wedge here. Anything in five feet to be handy from here. Not sure how that putt came up, Shy. Well, I think they fell in love with the line, forgot about the pace. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Currently at minus three for the event. have a par five here time to take advantage and after a par at the last a chance to perhaps signal some intent Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Uh, this one might just sneak off the fairway. This lie won't be too bad in the first cut. Well, look, they birdied the hole yesterday. Good luck today on repeating that birdie. There's 17 feet remaining to the hole. This one's tracking. Well, that's an early statement right there. That sets a positive tone for the player, doesn't it? And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. Teeing off here at the third hole. Luke. Coming off a of birdie at the last hole, this player finally is making something happen. Looking forward to the next hole, but danger lurks if they're not careful. This one may come up just a tad short here.
Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Well, definitely the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. This punt is about 17 feet long. Well hold. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Currently four under for the event. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Second shot here on the fourth. Looks like they've got the five wood. That's well played. Pin high. Oh, good look at a birdie here. Get excited. This could go in. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Playing from around 190 yards out. Going with the five iron here. Oh, look at this. Right down the throat. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, wonderfully played chip shot. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Leading by six strokes after that one. You've arrived at a par four. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Playing from around 210 yards here. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. Not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. 
He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. Not afraid to go deep. This putts for six under par. Ouch, that hurts. Just three feet to the cup. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. He sits in first position. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. That one's right out of the top drawer. Currently minus five. Currently in the lead. Mm, looks like they're going for the green. Good aggressive play here. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Well, this is exciting, a putt for an eagle. A good stroke. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. What an opportunity to make a birdie. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. And that will take him to six under. Our current leader is enjoying an eight stroke advantage. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Beautiful swing there. And playing this one from around 120 yards out. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. This one might need to sit. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. This putt's about 23 feet, guys. Just didn't drop. Seven footer right here. This one started out on a good line. Yep, nice to make a mid range par putt. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. off here at the ninth hole. Looks to be going with the five iron. 
This one's going right at the pin here. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. Big chance here. Well, what a lovely putt to make. And that will take him to seven under. And as we head over to the 10th hole, Rich, this player will enter their final nine holes of Q School. How will they be feeling? Well, right now they should be pleased. They're playing awfully well. They've put themselves in good position to get their Corn Ferry Tour card. But let's face it, nine holes left, pressure packed to say the least. That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great rhythm. Second shot here at the 10th. Opting for the five iron. Well, it looks like it's too much club on this one. That's not what they were looking for. Oh, as we can see there, the wind definitely affecting that shot. Oh, that one just missed the hole. He has this putt to save his par. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. This one has eyes for the hole. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Leading by a whopping seven shots after that one. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. Good looking shot this. Well struck. And here we are with the third shot. Well, well played. Five feet coming up to the cup. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And that will take him to eight under. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. We've arrived at a par four hole. That's heading for the fairway.
this shot from around 210 yards. Going with a three wood here. Is that right? I think so. That's just inside the range. Made birdie on the last, looking for a second in a row here. Coming up here. Good part that. And now that finds him in first place. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? Yeah, they're in the sand, and it's sitting up pretty good in this sand. Pretty good lie. Lovely shot out of the bunker. That's in tight. This putt coming up is for birdie. And that's a way to fight back from a tough break. Well hold. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee. Great recovery. Still in the lead now after that hole. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous swing. Very well played. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. That's the right pace. This should drop. And down it goes. So that's back-to-back -back birdies. And I like it. Two in a row. Currently 10 under for the event. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. That should find the cut stuff. Time for the second shot at the 15.
Going with the five iron here. Lovely effort, that. Oh, this will be a bonus. Right on 17 feet from here. Go on, get in the hole. And that's eight birdies today. And nice to have that cushion heading down the last few holes. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. We have a par four on this one. Well, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Oh, what a shot by our leader. Luke, that one was humongous. Well, Rich, this looks like a familiar spot for this player. They had a good result yesterday. Can't see why they wouldn't have another good one today. Well, you're a ball striker. There's no doubt about that. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. Oh, well, hold. You'll take the birdie. Currently 12 under for the event. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Let's see what happens here at the 17th. Going with the five wood. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. This is a good chance. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. He's currently sitting in first place. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. And now this player tees off their final hole of the event with the lead. Second shot here at the 18th. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. Getting ready to play their third. was that to going in the hole great shot well that's right out of the top draw a great shot from our leader this is always a good moment a putt to win the tournament
Cuscus, good off the blade. What an effort that is, winning Q-School and what's a pressure pack to it. Yes, hats off, but listen, I, it really doesn't matter, Luke. You finish first or you finish 25th, you still get your tour card, you still have an amazing opportunity next year. Yes, winning it does, does get you into a few more events at the beginning of the year, but you better play your way into the next part of the year because of the reshuffle. Hats off to the winner, but hats off to all the players getting through. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam, and on behalf of all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now. <laughs>